Hey guys, my name is Angelia and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but I'm finally back in the United States and everything. So I am here to do the solid color build challenge. I've seen quite a few other YouTubers doing it. It looked like a lot of fun. You're supposed to technically wait until you get a color assigned to you or get nominated, but we're going to do it anyway. We are doing the color pink. You have to do one color for the entire house. If you don't have the item, you cannot use it. Um... And I think the exceptions are like trees and rocks, but you, flowers do not count, so the flowers would have to be the same color. But we are doing pink. Um, so we are doing a small one-story house because doing a two-story house and trying to come up with all these pink items is not going to work. Um, so here I'm trying to do a foundation. I had a like a built-in mind of how I wanted to do this, and then I realized we do not have pink stairs. So the sims would not be able to get into the house um so you know we, i wanted to make it functional um it doesn't say in the rules that you can't use custom content but i decided to not use custom content just because i don't know i felt like it made it more of a challenge um and pink is actually it was an okay color but it's actually kind of hard to do um your items have to consist of like 60% of that color that you've chosen to be able to use it. And it's just, oh, it's frustrating. I couldn't do roofing either. <laughs> I was like, I, I had this idea for the roof and I wound up having to do like a more modern roof for it, which was fine. It turns out cute, but I would have preferred the roofing the way I had it in my head. Um, and I will also be linking the rules down below as well as the channel of the creator. Uh, they do in fact have a YouTube channel. Their name is Golden Simmer, so please be sure to go check them out in the links below. Um, but yeah, um, I'm, I'm trying to pick a wallpaper. There are a bunch of pink ones, but a lot of them look like more pinkish brown and I didn't like that. Um, so we do wind up sticking with the brick. Um, as far as the roofing goes, I wind up changing the floor tile, I think, one more time. Um, when it came to the trim, I just picked white because I didn't think it was that big of a deal because at least most of the wall is pink, you know? Um, thankfully, we do have pink lights um, as well as windows and stuff like that. Um, when we get to the bathroom, um, the toilet... I kept debating because it's in the pink category. I think it's more of like a blush pink. Um, but since it was in the category and most of it seemed to be that color, I did wind up using it. Um, so I'm warning you guys about that one now. Um, but I do think this came out all right. The kitchen is lacking because we don't have like, um, we don't have pink countertops. So I couldn't, I, I couldn't put in a stove or anything like that. And it kind of sucked. Um, but we do we do wind up with the fridge, so there's that at least. Um, oh, and there were cabinets that came up in the pink category. They just looked a little bit more purpley to me, like more of a magenta color, so I didn't really want to use it. Um, I tried to stick with a more vibrant pink for some reason. I don't know. I really like hot pink colors and pastel pinks, so... I did try to go with that, and I thought this coffee table was mostly pink, so... We we used it here, <laughs> um, but I did have a lot of fun with this challenge. Um, it's a it's a really nice thing to be able to do to just like sit down with a set of guidelines and try to build an entire house based off of one singular color. <laughs> it's also a little bit frustrating. I'm not gonna lie. Like you start scrambling for objects. Like oh my gosh, where am I gonna get this? What am I gonna do with this? And it winds up being a bit of a disaster. Um, also, if you do wind up placing this build, which I don't know why you would because the kitchen, you'll see when we get to the kitchen, um, make sure to put move objects on because I did use that quite a bit when it came to placing certain items down and getting them all settled in. And um, The one, I think, hmm, I think my favorite room in this house winds up being the bedroom. Um, it winds up being actually really pretty. Yeah, I had to fix the wall there. Um, we do end up changing some of the wallpaper colors just so there's more of a variety in the house. Um, but yeah, I think I actually, I think I passed. Yeah, see these countertops, they, they look purple, don't they? I don't know why they're in the pink category, but uh, they look purple. Also, is this, is this table 
from Movie Hangout glitched because I, I couldn't get it to work. Like, any swatch I use of it was only that one swatch, so I, I'm pretty sure it was glitch. Um, and there's the fridge. It also, it has that blush color to it. Um. <sighs> I can't stop yawning. Um. But to me, blush kind of counts as pink. Um, it's just a lighter pastel form of pink, so I used it. Um, the stove, there was a stove with pink in it, but it wasn't mostly pink. See how that sink has mostly pink on it and just like a little bit of black around the framing? Um, it has to be like 60% pink and it just wasn't, so we wound up not using it. Um, and I do wind up using like accent table a little bit of accent tables to act as countertops because I didn't have any counters um and I kept trying so hard to like put a coffee maker or something on there and they will only go on counters apparently <laughs> or so I have learned and I was very frustrated by that um I did grab a hamper it is a pink hamper so you know at least it works I did want to give them a laundry room because you know we did just get laundry day stuff and all of that so I really wanted that to be in there. Um, and thankfully we have pink washer and dryer, so we could totally do that. Oh gosh, the doors. <laughs> um, we have a serious lack of pink, like, inside doors, so this house is full of unicorn doors because it was pink and it's cute. <laughs> so I decided, you know what? Why not? We're just, we're obviously a ch chick lives here. Maybe Barbie lives here with her little sister Kelly or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, flowers, they have to be pink. So I obviously picked the pink ones. Um, the kitchen, it, it turns out all right. It's a little lacking for my taste because I actually really like doing kitchens, but, um, this one, <laughs> I was so frustrated. Uh, the laundry room was also a little bit lacking just because we don't- we didn't get, like, a ton of mostly pink stuff with laundry day stuff, so I- I wound up just, you know, doing what I could with it. Um, and I did kind of make, like, a little- nice little cutoff for the kitchen. Um, and I do change the kitchen a little bit. Yeah, I'm doing it right now, it looks like. Um, I decided to move the wall because I thought it would look better. Uh, just to have like a nice little break, but it's still a pretty open floor plan in terms of the kitchen and the living room, but it's a nice little separation between the two. Um, and I love that painting, and it is mostly pink, but I'm pretty sure I wind up getting rid of it. Like, I, I'm pretty sure that's what I do. Um, I also really liked these lights. Like, they have a nice little pink to them, and I thought they were pretty. Um... Right, it looks like I'm moving to the bedroom. Yep. Um, thankfully, we got, or rather, we have quite a few pink beds to choose from. Uh, this one looked mostly pink to me, though, so I did wind up going with this one, even though it's like a lighter pink. The frustrating thing I found with picking one color is that not all the shades match. Like, you have a bunch of different shades of pink to choose from. You have a different bunch of different shades of like greens to choose from um but the reason I did choose pink was because I saw I didn't I hadn't seen at least anyone on my subscriptions list doing pink yet so I was like you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do a, a pink one it's gonna look like the inside of a hostess snowball but it's gonna be great um and I did have a lot of fun with this so <laughs> totally worth um, and I, yeah, I really wanted to use that wreath, but it was mostly white. I was so upset. Um, but I do wind up using the butterflies. Um, they do have some purple in them, but they are mostly, like, a hot pink color. So, to me, that totally counts as working with pink. Um, but, yeah, the bedroom actually turned out pretty nice. Much to my surprise. I wasn't expecting it to turn out that nice. Yeah, see, they're only in, like two purpley butterflies in that entire thing, so to me, totally counted. Oh my gosh, the curtains. I hate the curtains I had to use, but the rest of them were way too tall, and I didn't want to raise up the height, because I thought it was cute being short. Um, but man, 
the, I, I had to use like yep yeah, those <laughs> like these horrible dark pink color and I hate them but um I didn't have my custom content installed so the horrible dark pink it is um I did use the pretty curtains over here though I, I try to add more, but they they just won't snap when you're, like, trying to overlay them, and it's super frustrating. Um, yeah, I, I, I wasn't happy with the curtain choices. I was actually getting really frustrated with that. Um, and as you can see, I made the bedroom a little bit of a lighter pink. Um, in the bathroom, I put in the pink tile that we have. It, it's kind of, it's a magenta-y pink, but it is, it's definitely pink. Um, I'm just more of a fan of like a hot pink color and hot pink has more of like a red tone to it um, Like those lights. I love that that shade of pink um, Which I would have preferred most of the house to be a pastel pink or with the hot pink shade to it But it didn't work out But uh, the bathroom winds up being all right. We, we get the facilities in there that we need nothing matches, but What can you do right? <laughs> um and those tiles are pink. Again, it's that blush color. I don't know why they're giving why this a little uh, why the Sims has given us so many items or like floor tiles with that blush pink color instead of like an actual true pink. Maybe they're just a, a fan of a blush. I don't know. It could happen. Um, what am I doing now? Oh, I'm I'm putting in another hamper. It looks like. Uh, you know, just in case there's more than one person living there and, you know, to like flesh out the bathroom a little bit there. I really liked that light as well. I don't know why. Um, I do put in some rugs just to bring some more pink to it. Again, more of that blush color, but what can you do, right? Uh, let's see. What am I doing now? Oh uh, yeah, I decided to move all that and then put that bookcase out there instead because it was nice, pretty pink color. Um, I was going to try to do like a runway of carpets. I don't know why. <laughs> I just thought that would be a good idea. And then I was like, mm, no, better not. Let's just, let's just put that there. I can't remember if I actually put anything on that table or not. I don't think I do. Um, but it's just like a little table when you walk in, like people put their keys and stuff like that. Uh, I think I'm mostly done with the inside at this point, for the most part. There are a few things I do wind up adding and modifying, I believe. But um, I really liked these, these little window flowers, so I just stuck them all over the house. I thought they gave them a nice little look to it. Um, yeah, here's where I changed this one. Uh, <laughs> I used the bubblegum pink floor. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is like a Barbie house, but not quite. Oh man, building like a Barbie house would actually be a lot of fun, but I would definitely need custom content for that one to work out. Um, we didn't have any pink grills. I was so upset. I was like, okay, they can just cook outside since we don't have a stove. No. Um, I also really wanted to use that uh, flower archway, but I, I really didn't have anywhere to put it, so I wind up deleting it in a little bit. Um, and I know the rules that you can use different colors trees, but I just really wanted to use that pretty pink tree from Movie Hangout. Um, again, Movie Hangout is definitely one of my favorite stuff packs, so I, I tend to use a lot of those items still. Um, it just, they have a lot of stuff that's more my style. Oh, you know what I should have used? I should have put in the, um, the bean bags. I know there's a light pink bean bag seat that I could have used. I totally didn't think of that. I should have just plopped those all around. <laughs> Dang it. Um, uh, the backyard. I wish I could have done so much more with the backyard, in all honesty. Like, I, I'm actually quite disappointed with the way the backyard came out, but I didn't have a lot of choices when it came to picking uh, items and stuff for an outside area. And I do just add like a concrete type area, or rather bricks, I suppose. Um, just give it more of like a patio feel. Yeah, I adjust this quite a few times because I just, I, I didn't want it to be like completely linear. Uh, and I thought having like little monkey bars would be cute. I don't know. Just in case there's a kid that she's gonna have or, I don't know, she babysits. I, I assume it's a like a Barbie living here. <laughs> Like, it, it just seems appropriate. 
which makes me want to create Barbie, but I don't know how that would work out. I think, didn't I try to create Barbie at one point? I feel like I did for like the 100 days of create a sim challenge, but I don't quite remember. Um, also, these little, like, thistle bushes wound up being absolutely perfect for what I was going for. Um, they're nice and pink, with a little bit of a frosted white on the top, so <laughs> they were perfect. And I thought they looked really cute lining the entryway. I tried to find a mailbox that had some pink to it, and there, there aren't any. There genuinely aren't any. It's actually really sad. Um, and I did add some, like pet stuff just because I don't know I thought I fleshed it out a bit more made it look a little bit more realistic if there were pet things in there um plus we have pink stuff so <laughs> why not right and then again we have the uh blush color scratching post that kind of blends in with the blush color carpet but what can you do um I tried so hard to fit this bed into the bedroom but it just there's not enough room so the whatever pet it is sleeps in the living room which I'm assuming it's a cat just because I put in the little, you know, baton thing that you can play with your cats with. Um, I think I'm just about done with the build, actually. Um, I add in some dirt, obviously, because I... When it, when it comes to, like, landscaping and stuff like that, I like to make it look a little bit more realistic to have some dirt there. Um, but, yeah, I think this is just about done... Let me know how you guys think I did. I, I, I think I did pretty well, and you guys should totally do this. Do a color. Um, it's actually a, quite a bit of fun. It's really challenging. Um, and I will be putting in some screenshots of the build once, this, once I get done actually building it here, which they are coming up right about now. Um, so yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. You should definitely give it a try. Um, pink is frustrating. If you do only base game objects like I did, you're going to run into some problems. So I would maybe recommend trying it with custom content. Um, but then, I don't know. I feel like custom content is also kind of cheating when it comes to a challenge. But um, yeah. So let me know what you guys' favorite room is. Mine is the bedroom still. And yeah. I hope you guys have a magical day. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!